WLWT, a big surprise tonight at Little Miami's final football scrimmage right before kickoff. It happened. The entire crowd erupting in applause and maybe a few tears too. WLWT News 5 anchor Chris Jacobs joining us here with that heartwarming reunion. Chris. Yeah, no shortage of emotions in Morrow. It's been almost a year since cheerleading coach Christina McClure and her husband Nicholas have seen each other. That's because Nicholas is a staff sergeant in the Army and was deployed overseas. And we were at the stadium this evening as that all changed. The sounds of football already going to 10 in Morrow. But at this little Miami preseason game, pretty nervous. So. <laughs> the gridiron is the last thing on the mind of Nicholas McClure. I'm thinking she's going to be pretty shocked when I show up here tonight. Uh, probably cry a little bit. The Army Staff Sergeant surprising his wife, Christina, ahead of the game. But I've seen the videos over the years, and I've always thought that was something really cool. So to have this opportunity, and again, can't thank Little Miami enough. They've just been awesome, helped me set this up. It's been 10 months since they've seen each other. Nicholas deployed overseas. Christina now in charge of their two kids and the Little Miami cheerleading program. Their family is truly about community and they're about country. And seemingly about perfect timing. Shortly after the national anthem, the big moment that could only be expressed with applause and tears. At this time, please welcome back Nicholas McClure. A welcome home almost a year in the making. Do you have any clue? No. I'm astounded right now. Like, I had no idea that he was here. After the surprise and with their hands together, Christina says the moment was everything she was waiting for. I mean, you have the, the thoughts and everything with your husband being in military and, you know, hoping maybe one day, but to actually have it happen, it, it was perfect. Well, Christina was also honored tonight with the Panther Spirit Award for her work with the cheerleading team. The family says the next step is a boating trip they planned and to spend as much time together as possible. Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5.